In today's show, we're going to be talking about teak decks, specifically how to fabricate and install a simple highlight on your boat, but using a more modern take on the process. Teak decks seem to be a bit of a hot topic among boarders. They either seem to love them or they hate them. And personally, I'm in the camp that really likes them. Aside from being absolutely beautiful, they also provide a very important function on the boat. They give you traction, especially when the surface is wet. Now, most composite decking material, such as your gel coat non-skid, which is on almost every boat, tends to get a little slick, and losing your footing when you need it the most can make the difference between possibly getting hurt, going for a swim, or, well, not. While it is true that teak does occasionally require some simple maintenance, it's a very durable material that holds up to the elements, it wears well, and is fairly simple to repair. If you're part of that other camp that thinks that there's something to avoid, it's because you've probably heard horror stories of how the teak caused major issues with rot in the core of the deck itself, which is very expensive to repair. Now, with a traditionally laid deck where the individual battens were put down with screws every 8 inches or so, there might be some justification to this. For an example, a 30, 34 foot boat could have anywhere from one to 2,000 screws holding down the planks and the trim, and honestly, that's a lot of screws. Each one of those poses a potential problem area if the deck is not properly maintained. A few manufacturers have realized this and have developed a product and specifically a process that eliminates this issue. How do they do it? Well, they eliminate about 98% of the screws and do what's called a screwless deck. One such manufacturer, and one that I've worked with for a number of years, is Teak Decking Systems. Now, before I get too far into this, one thing that you're going to find about this show is that I am not going to be in the habit of playing salesperson for a particular product or manufacturer. There are a lot of companies out there making claims about their stuff, and honestly, I feel most of them fall far short of what they say. That being said, I will, however, give mention to things that have proven to be exceptional products or tools that are just so good that they've changed the way that I operate my business. Teak Decking Systems provide such a product. So let's take a quick look at their stuff and get on with our product. The way that TDS, or Teak Decking Systems, has developed their process is really in the way that they fabricate their panels. All the lumber that they use is quarter sawn and hand selected to be void of any defects. Well, what does quarter sawn mean and why is that important for this application? Well, quarter sawn lumber is actually the same thing as vertical grain lumber. And what exactly that means is that the, the grain lines are running vertical across the width of the panel. Now a piece such as this is going to be very stable because uh, wood has a tendency to move the most along these grain lines. And the shorter that you can keep these runs, the more stable that piece of wood is going to be. Now on the other end of the spectrum, a uh, piece such as this where the grains are running more horizontally, these are going to have a, a much higher tendency to twist and cup and bow on you. And as far as being used for this type of application, that's really not a desirable feature. TDS, or teak decking systems, they, they bond the individual planks of wood to a, a composite backer. And I guess to be honest, I'm not sure exactly what this is. It reminds me somewhat of uh, like a, a hardy backer or a type of waterproof cement board. But by doing this, it accomplishes a couple of things. One, it now, because the, the, the planks themselves are bonded onto a solid surface, it helps to stabilize the wood even more. And that is a, a big benefit in this type of application. Because the less that the wood, is, the less that the wood moves, the more stable your joints are going to be, uh, the less maintenance and possible issues down the road you, you're going to encounter. Also, by putting it into this type of, of system, now you've created a panel instead of dealing with individual strips. And as far as the installation process, dealing with a panelized system versus individual strips is much more efficient to install, and it's a lot easier to deal with. Uh, lastly, uh, having this composite background here, it gives you an excellent bonding surface for the epoxy to bite onto. And epoxy is what holds this whole works in place, hence allowing it to be a screwless system. Now the workhorse in this system lies in their epoxy and their special blend, it's a, uh, a two-part mix 
and I'll show you a little bit here. It's, it's pretty thick. Uh, you're, you mix these two components in equal amounts of the activator and the base. And once they're thoroughly mixed, now you have a, 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 a good, rich, it's creamy, but it's still pretty stiff. Uh, meaning that you can trowel it on, it's not going to sag on you. And the stuff bonds to, well, almost everything. Um, but the neat thing about it is that, unlike most epoxies, when it cures, it doesn't become brittle. Meaning that this will flex with the movement of the boat, but it won't break or shear away from its mounting surface. Uh, it's it's non-corrosive, it's uh, marketed as safe for the environment, and it's actually really easy to use. Teak Dacking Systems uh, seaming caulk, which is called their SIS 440, this comes in two colors, either black or white, and this is the material that runs in between the planks on their panels. And uh, this particular brand and this particular type of caulking is hands down the best that I have ever used, and I've, I've used a lot of them. Um, there's no mixing. Application of this thing is, is really easy, and within 24 hours, the stuff cures to a, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a solid rubber or not, but it, uh, it cures solid and it sands, like I said, it sands the best that I've ever come across. Um, it also bonds extremely well to the edges of the wood. Now, for the sake of, uh, of this video, this is just a quick little scrap piece that I've put together. And these planks are only maybe a quarter inch thick. Not a whole lot of bonding surface on here. And for the sake of video, I'm going to demolish this piece. But what, uh, the point that I'm trying to uh, stress here is, is how strong this, uh, this material bonds onto the edges of the wood. Now, as I'm flexing this, you're going to notice that this is much more tension and flex than you'll ever experience on your boat, but yet this caulking is not separating. And uh, I'll just keep right on going here. And I'm, I'm putting some pretty good force on here. And it's just, it's stretching, but it's not separating, which is, uh, for something like this, is absolutely amazing. I've almost got it bent well, almost into a, a barrel shape. It's just now starting to separate a little bit. Um, I've got this bent almost to a 90 degree angle and it's just now starting to separate. And there it goes. But point being, there was a lot of tension on here, a lot of, uh, a lot of flex on this. And it got to uh, an obscene amount of, of uh, tension on here before it started to separate. And that cannot be said for uh, most other products out there uh, that are marketed for this kind of application. And one of the, uh, the other big benefits of this stuff, um, it also happens to be one of the cheapest out on the market. Now, cheap does not necessarily mean lack of quality. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I swear by this stuff hands down. And uh, if you're ever in the market where you're looking for products to either maintain your boat or if you're looking for uh, someone to put in a, a whole new deck on your boat, I strongly recommend you give these guys a call. Uh, they're located, I believe, down in Sarasota, Florida. I'll provide a link down below here. Uh, give them a call, ask for Jeff or Peter, and uh, they'll, they'll take care of you. So finally, here's our project. In part two of this segment, we're going to be going over the fabrication and installation of a teak deck highlight over this bowsprit, transforming it from this into this. If you found the information in this video informative or helpful, please remember to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again real soon.